Hey y'all, I am back again. Guess what? This is the second video, third video in like a week. Doing good. Um, yeah, my dishwasher is making noise, so that's what you hear in the background. Um, I went on a huge product binge yesterday. I went to Target <laughs> for the Shea Moisture products and um, came out with a lot more. But I tried the products last night. I got the um, deep treatment mask. And I really like it. Like, I have my own deep conditioner mix that I usually do, that I've been doing for a long time. I've never used an actual pre made treatment, so to speak. Um, so I really wasn't expecting anything too great, but it was really good. Like, I can really tell the difference. As far as the tangling, it was like super fast. Normally it takes me at least 10 to 15 minutes. Um, but my hair was just like five minutes done. Um, and I also got from the Shea Moisture line, I got the organ Organic Coconut and Hibiscus Conditioning Curl and Style Milk. This stuff is the bomb.com. Let me tell you, oh my gosh, like, I don't really use a leave-in either. So, both these products are sort of out of the ordinary. They don't really fit in my regimen, so to speak. But, I really like this. Normally, I just leave a little bit of conditioner on my hair, and that's fine. Um, but this, oh my gosh, my hair is still moist. Um, and I also did, like, a little test yesterday. I did a twist out, as you can see. Um, one side I used the conditioning curl and style milk and I put um, no I didn't use anything on top of it and then the other side I use the conditioning curling whatever style milk and I put a little bit of the Oars Lock and Twist Gel on top which is what I normally use for my twists and twist outs and you can definitely tell which side <laughs> has the gel and which side doesn't this side I just use the um, curl milk alone. As you can see, it's way frizzier and way bigger and less defined. Which is okay for some people, but I go for the more defined, somewhat tamed look. Um, but this side is also way softer. So if you're looking for super, super soft hair and you don't mind frizz, then you can use the product alone. But you definitely have to use it with like a gel or something if you want to use it for twist outs. Um, I also got the Giovanni Triple Tea Tree Triple Treat Conditioner. <laughs> I used the shampoo um, when I was transitioning and I really liked it. But, you know, I've since switched shampoos and I don't really shampoo that much, so I don't really see the need to buy the shampoo. But I got the conditioner and I hope I like it. I really like the smell. And it was, I got the huge bottle at Marshall's. No, yeah, I got this at Marshall's. Also from Marshall's, I got the EO. This is the lavender and aloe. I haven't tried this scent yet. I typically get the rosemary mint. That is my go-to. But, you know, at Marshall's, you never know what you're going to get. Also from Target, I got the Tresemme Naturals Conditioner. This is the... Nourishing Moisture Conditioner with Aloe and Avocado. My hair loves Aloe. And it was cheap, so I figured I'd try it. I also got the Garnier Fructis Leave-In Conditioning Cream. I heard a lot about it. I don't really need it, but it was sort of like one of those products I was just like, hmm, let me try it. Everyone else did. So that was sort of like a splurge. This was this, the Kimball... Bounce back curling with vitalizer. Oh, this is what I use. I'm sorry. <laughs> this side alone is not alone. I actually use that, the curling cream, with this. So this product definitely does not provide any type of hold. It's supposed to be a bounce back curling revitalizer, whatever that means. Curl enhancement. I don't know if it really did that. I doubt it'll really do anything for my hair or my curls. But we'll see. It does contain um, first two ingredients of water and glycerin. So if anything, it's a good moisturizer. It does have some other pretty good ingredient ingredients. Yarrow, witch hazel, mallow, rosemary, horsetail, 
horse chestnut, dandelion, colt's foot, sage, elderflower, lavender, thyme, fennel, chamomile, aloe vera gel, and then a bunch of preservatives. Oh, and it also has, um, so I'm all up in the camera, um, hydrolyzed human hair keratin. How do you get human hair keratin? Please inform me of that, someone, anybody. Seriously. Um, and today, I'm almost out of my Food the Earth aloe vera gel. And I went to CVS and got this. Whoa. Yeah. The ingredients aren't that much different. Like, there's one or two other ingredients that the um, Food of the Earth doesn't contain, which is the methylparaben and polysorbate. So I'm going to try that tonight and see how it works. Um, but yeah, I've just been having like a crazy hair day. I was not feeling my hair at all today. So tonight I'm going to do some three strand twists. If I can remember how to do them. I tried one a few minutes ago. It's kind of hard to see. But um, yeah, it's already like shrunk up. I don't know what I'm going to do with my hair. I really don't. I guess you will see tomorrow, maybe, on the blog. Oh, and the contest is up. I put the contest up on my blog since I've reached 100 subscribers. I'm doing a giveaway. So all you have to do is go to the blog, glamswagger.com. I'll post a link in the video description box, and just leave a comment. That's all you have to do. And, of course, be a subscriber. But, um, yeah. So everyone, just go over there and enter. Please, please, please. All right, thanks. That's all.